Ho, ho, ho. It is silver. It is silver. Yes. Yes. Hey guys, we are suited up and got the equinoxes all in the back and we're ready to head out to uh, the same old place I've been hunting. I found some new house sites and we're going over to a brand new site today. And I got Jason, army man with us. You can't see him. Leave me in here, Jason. There he is. He's peeking around. Got his dad Roy with us too. We're going to go out there. He smells old silver, old coins, so hopefully his nose is pretty good. So let's get out in the field and let's see what we can get. All right, we're down here on location now, and uh, I just got suited up. Roy and Jason are suited up. Yeah, we're gonna be hunting out here. There's a probably another 250 year old oak tree right there, and another 250 year old oak tree right there. And it looks like an old house site right here, so we're gonna check this out. Another big old oak tree over there. I was hunting about 500 feet in my last video, about 500 feet on down through these trees, and we're gonna just check all through here for old house sites. And so this is where we're at. And uh, if we find something, we'll get the camera on it and we'll show you. I'm going to be swinging my Equinox today. And I'm just going to keep it in my multi-frequency uh, mode. We're going to keep it on Park 1 because I've had so much success at Park 1. And right now I'm not hunting with a full horseshoe on. Sensitivity is at 22. And uh, let's see. I'm going to keep my... Uh, I'm going to go up here on my recovery speed and put it back up about four all right that should do it and uh we will probably go ahead and uh go back over here and let's just go ahead and noise cancellate cancellation here and we're ready to roll so let's get the swinging well jason's already calling me over said he's got some shiny in the hole yeah definitely What's that going to be? It's going to be a... Oh, it's a rosy! <laughs> oh, no barbers. We dig barbers out here all the time. And very few mercs, but man, we got a rosy. All right. Well, hey, you got first silver, so that's good. Congratulations. That means this may be promising out here. Yeah, I was right up here about close to the gate, probably getting more modern stuff. Boy, this is turning out. We have been here five minutes and already got a rosy, then got a weedy. I haven't gotten anything. Roy's just calling on me, uh, calling me and said he's got some shiny. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, that's going to be a nice, what, about four inches? Oh, uh, yeah, about four inches. A little rosy. Can we pop it? Go ahead. Yeah, it's not a rosy one thing. It's a, it's a Merc. It's a good one. 1934. Oh, that's good. Is that what that says? That's good. Or 38. 1938. 1938 Mercury. All right. Let me set it up there. And let's get a picture of that thing. Right. I'll give it to you. On the board. Well, congratulations yeah, there, Roy. He's, want, he's wanting some silver out here today. Finally got it. Yeah, and it's right out here. Check this out, guys. That's got to be, would you say that's 250 years old? Or older than that? I mean, this is a huge tree. You can't tell on camera, but this is so big. Yeah, four and a half, five feet. It is a huge tree. And one right there, one over there. So we're thinking the house might have set right out here facing the road. Let's get the 17, 18. No shotgun head stamp, so that's a good sign. We're on an old home site. All right, first good signal. 21, about six inches deep. Let's, uh, it's gonna be right there. Let's live dig this. Let's see what we come up with. There we go. What do we got? Ah, it's just a stinking. It's a weedy. 
It's ringing up like a weedy. I was hoping that was going to be a barber dime. Some of these thin barber dimes have been ringing up like weedies. Got a 20 at 6 inches. 20 at 6 inches. Could this be Indian? We haven't got any old coins out of here yet. Uh, there's definitely roots in here for sure. Let's see. Right there. Right there. A big root right in the way. Oh, I see it right there. Y'all see it coming up? Right there. I don't know. It's ringing up a 19 to a 20. And that's usually indicative of Indians, and it is an Indian. It is an Indian. It's the year on this baby. Can y'all tell? Nineteen oh six. Nineteen oh six in good shape too. All right, guys. I just out ran on this tree right here. It's a little high rise right out here. We think maybe the house set right there. And this is all out in front of the house. But all these got high rises in them. So hopefully it's going to be some good stuff for us. I've got a great 3031 right here. And uh, so let's live dig this together. That's showing about eight inches there. But I bet it'll be about six inches. 31. All right, Jason, I'm going to let you film me. All right. I got my mark. I'm going to let you film. Oh, the roots in there. Definitely a root. All right, let's lay it over. See, that's still the good sun. Is that it right there? Is that shotgun shell? Not shiny. That's shiny right there, boys. Yes, sir. On edge. Let me get this away. All right, let's see what it is. It's bigger than a dime. It's bigger than a dime. Yes! Still in the clump. Oh, it's a barber! That is a barber. Wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. 1902 barber. 1902. Y'all check that out. 1902 barber on edge too standing straight up and down it was on edge. yeah all right well if there's one there's got to be two if not three let me rub that on my pants right there and we'll get a good shot of it right there check that out 1902 beautiful All right, I'm on the board. Now I'm not skunked. I got silver. Check that out, folks. 1902 Barber Quarter. Pretty good condition. A little slick. Got some uh, tarnish on it there and a lot of tarnish on the back. Sitting up in the ground just like that, up in a, uh, in a angle. It might have been up against the root or something. But uh, all right, we got an Indian and a Barber. We got a Rosie and we got a Mercury. Some Wheat Pennies. Some bullets, shotgun head stamps, a little bit of everything out here today. So uh, let's keep on looking and see what we find. All right, I just swing over here and just swing over it and just got the little chirp. Now, Jason, I told Jason he could have this signal since I came over on his site. And uh, he came over and got on top of it. It's a 20, what'd you say it was? 2627. 2627. All right, let's see what we got here. A lot of good stuff happened. Oh my word, look at that. Laid right on the top. That's uh, five and a half inches deep. 
Wow, that's a beautiful, look how black it is. Check that out. Let me get a picture of that just like it's sitting. Wow, that's beautiful coin. It does have a mint mark? No, I don't think it's so. All right, you want to pluck it? Let's see what it what it's going to be. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Almost looks like a Roman coin. That's going to be what, a 1910? 1910. 1910. 1910 is a key date. Check that out. Wow, look how beautiful this Tony of it is. I don't see no mint mark. No mint mark. Man, that is a beautiful, beautiful dime. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful 1910 dime. Black toning, all, all right here, close to the tree. We haven't been digging up. We got some aluminum, tons of uh, shotgun head stamps. So I don't know if it was the home side or if there was an old barn here or something, because we're not digging a whole lot of iron and a whole lot of house things. So it could just been a gathering point or, or something like that. But we're going to go back down this way and hunt those woods too. All right, let's keep at it. Well, all of our buddies came back. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven, eight, nine, some colts there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 9, 30, 31, 32. And there's some little colts. They, they haven't been born that, they're not that old. There's one right there. There's one over there. There's one back here. Uh, another, maybe that was born last year. Uh, yeah, some real young colts right over there, two of them. Yeah, they always come and check us out. That's about five foot across that tree. This is an old, old tree. Beautiful. Doesn't this just look like a house site? The signals have gotten quiet. Jason's on down there. Uh, Dad's over there. And the most of everything we found so far has been from about right there all the way over to about the green and there and right in here. So I'm not certain if it was a house site because we're not digging a lot of house site stuff. We're digging tons of shotgun shells, lots of bullets and uh, trash, you know, foil, stuff like that. A little bit of iron. There's not a whole lot of iron out here. And uh, so that's why I'm thinking it may be not a, it's not a, uh, house site it may be just a, a, a barn or, or a gathering place or something uh, for to have a mix of coins from 1900 1902 i think is our oldest and all the way up to uh, uh 1960s and then out here where i'm at i'm outside the fence now um i'm digging uh, there's some zinc pennies and stuff like that of course that's what you're going to get in the driveway is digging up that kind of stuff so I'm just kind of gridding this off because it's just right next door to where we were digging all that other stuff. And I'm just looking at this big old tree and I'm just thinking there's got to be something out here. So let's keep on searching. Got a surface find. You see it? It's going to be a stinking Lincoln right out here on top of the ground. Digging out here by this big old tree. Got a 10 and 11. It's going to be a little heart necklace. Let me get some water on it, clean this up, and we'll see what it is. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's worn out. Just a little heart necklace. It's old. All right. Nothing fancy here, but hey, this piece of jewelry, I'll take it. This shows you that there might have been a house here, or at least there's some traffic around this tree. Getting a real good tone here. A 25 at 4 inches. Now let's just dig this together and see what it might be. Ah, oh, check that out. Can y'all see that? Look at that. Check that out. Two inches deep. Right here in the 
driveway. Oh, let's see what that is. Yeah, 1908. Barber Dime. I was not expecting that. But I'll take it any day I get them. That's unbelievable. Check that out. All right. Well, Jason came through here and he kind of dug a few holes and dug some modern coins up in here. And I told him, you need to really grid this off. I mean, because it's right here. You got there, you got that tree to that tree. It's like a triangle. And, uh, and looky what he missed. I got a good signal, but I'm going to give it to Roy. He's our guest today, and I'm going to sacrifice that. I don't know what it's going to be. You found it? 29. That's what we're digging. A 29, it's four inches? Four to six, four to six inches. So we're going to give it to him today. He's got, he, Jason's got a barber. I got two barbers. And Roy's got a Merc, so we're hoping this is going to be a barber. I just dug my barber dime right by Jason's uh, detector over there. And so we're going to see what this is going to be. Could be junk. We were digging aluminum out here, but it sounds good like a coin. Is it in the hole or is it? Come on, Barber. Come on, Barber. I don't see it. I don't know what it is. It's a grub worm or the pocket worm. Is that what it is? All right, in the clod. All right, Roy. Is it going to be trash? Is it going to be treasure? It's out. Where's it at? Oh, 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 oh. It is oh. silver. It is oh. silver. Oh. It is silver. Oh. It is oh. barber. Oh. Yes. 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 First ever. Eighteen ninety five. Eighteen ninety five. Is that right? Eighteen. Yeah, eighteen ninety five. Big eye, man. He's got you. Let's kind of pop that. Oh, it's got pretty. All right, pop. There oh, we go. Oh, it's beautiful black, like your other one. What makes some black like that? Just in the ground. Well, Check that out. Tree, yeah, his was. That's just way some silver is. 1895. Congratulations, man. Well, what do you think it. about an 1895 barber quarter? Makes me feel good to give it up. 95. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome, Roy. That is a nice toned one out, toned Beautiful. out one too. Beautiful. I have to get a shot of all this in the wrap up. Well, tell me what you think about an 1895 barber quarter. I love it. I love it. I think I'm married. <laughs> you got to kiss Lady Liberty now. You got it. There you go. <laughs> well, we gave up on that other site and uh, across the pasture, there's an old church right here. And uh, we wanted to come over here because I came over here with Nugget Noggin and we saw from this church, you can see the tree line right there. But this tree line on the other side is an old road. That's the original old road. And it comes down here to a cemetery. And we're going to not hunt in the cemetery. That's illegal in, in the state of Texas. But we're going to look and see how old the graves are. And we're going to hunt all around the edges of it. And so our theory is if it's an old cemetery, there ought to be something around it. Yeah, that's kind of more modern uh, headstones. 
Yeah, I see. Maybe down that side is an older one. Maybe in the back corner. I'm going to try to get in there and just kind of see what the ages are. Little Roy's calling me over. We came back over here to the juke joint. The si signals went silent there. We didn't find anything at the graveyard. So we came back over here. The juke joint's right behind me. That's where I've been hunting. I haven't found anything yet. And Roy yelling out Merc. So let's see what he's got. Check that out. Clean as a whistle. Did you wipe it off? I wiped it off. 1935. Well, congratulations, okay. sir. I just love it. That is, uh, how many silvers is that for you? Three? Well, we're going to call it a day. We had a pretty good day out here. We started out over at that homestead, what we think maybe as a homestead. Then we went on over to the graveyard, wasn't there. So I ended up coming back over here to the old juke joint. And it produced one coin. And uh, Roy got it a while ago. Jason, what do you think about it? You had a fairly good day. I did. You got silver on the board. You didn't. Get, you didn't get skunk. No, I didn't get skunk. But you had a barber quarter. You could have got. I could have, but I gotta get a head start. <laughs> every time. Roy, what do you think, man? I like it. It's, uh, it's uh, just good to be outside. You got the oldest coin out of the bunch, didn't you? Yeah. It, it, yeah. The oldest yeah. He got the oldest coin. Let me uh, spin you around. Let me show you what we got here today. All right. There's all of our trash. Typical stuff at home sites uh, and uh, junk, aluminum, mason jar lids. I got one lid right there. Still got the uh, porcelain on the bottom of it. Tons and tons of shotgun stamps and bullets. And every time we dig those up, well, that looks like a coin right there. But a uh, bunch of stuff there. Uh, here's all of our finds. We had a pretty good day considering. Uh, this is Jason's finds here. He got him two Wheaties. Do you know the date on the Wheaties, Jason? One's a 44 and the other I had to dress it up. All right. Uh, he got the first coin of the bunch, and he got a, a, a Rosie, 1957 Rosie. And then he got the most beautiful coin out of the bunch, I think, is a 1910 Barber Dime. And I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but it's just toned so beautifully. So good. Look at that. I wouldn't do anything to that dime. I'd just leave it just like it is. All right, here's Jason's dad, Roy's uh, finds. He got him a, a, a weedy. Then he got him some twin sisters on his uh, Mercury dimes. He got a 38 and a 35. Yeah, but two different locations there. And that's pretty good. But his best coin, he got the oldest coin out of the bunch today. He got a 1895 Barber Quarter. Check that out. And did, we have, did it have a mint mark on it? I don't think it did, did it? Uh-uh. No men on that one, but it's toned out just like that other one, real black. Uh, they came out of the same yard. Then here's my finds. I got a stinking Lincoln. Nothing's uh, official until you dig a stinking Lincoln. I found one little piece of jewelry, a little heart, not much of anything, very old. I did get a wheat penny. I did get a Indian head, a 1906 Indian. I got me a 1908 Barber dime. And uh, then my best find of the day was a 1902, 1902 Barber Quarter. So we ended up getting two quarters. We got uh, two Barber Dimes, two Mercury Dimes. So we got a total of five dimes and two quarters. One Indian and one, two, three, four Mercs. So pretty good day all in all. So there's all the trash. And here's all the treasures. That's Jason's, Roy's, and mine. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can come out to a ghost town. The greatest treasure is hunting with some buddies and what's up in heaven. So keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.